The clamor to mount exhibitions in unusual spaces has been gaining momentum in the country as artists are encouraged to take works of art to the people instead of always waiting for them to attend their exhibitions. This group has been doing that for a while now, but their mission is a bit humane. This is their location. The Lagos University Teaching Hospital and the Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital, Yaba, a really unlikely place for this art show. It's a rare collaboration between health practitioners and artists who design solutions that will transform the hospital experience for the caregivers and their patients. The health team is enlightened about the role of art as a treatment, as it has the ability to lift the spirits of those who are depressed due to the ailments they are faced with or the job they are saddled with. One of the coordinators, Kunle Adewale, explains how it works. Art in Medicine program has really helped to improve and encourage caregivers, patients to become more happy. Some of them, when they're about to go for procedures, we introduce art to them, they draw, they paint, we do bedside music, and all of these bring joy and happiness to the hospital environment. And therefore, some of them were very scared of procedures they become more relaxed going through those procedures and then by the time they return, they want to just continue the artistic engagement we've started with them. So art so far, and art in medicine so far in the hospital environment in Nigeria has really improved the well-being of patients and transformed the healthcare experience both for caregivers, even for healthcare workers because people that come to the hospital environment before and because of the way they work, they're tired, they're stressed out, but because of what we're doing, they are now more energized and become more passionate about what they do because art is really making them more happy and making them do their job in a very good way. Artists are not the only ones part of the creative process. All hands are on deck from the patients, medical students, health professionals to other auxiliary staff. Everyone chips in and working as a team comes with its own rewards. We actually began here at our National Sickle Cell Centre about five years ago and um, it's something that's been a blessing to even us as staff. But more importantly for our children, especially the children who have sickle cell. You see, when people have um, chronic illnesses, when they say they have an illness that's a lifetime or lifelong illness, they always want to find means of coping with the illness, with the disease. So we find that um, it's something that's not new in other parts of the world, but it's an innovation here. And I think we are in the forefront. So our children, whilst they're waiting in the waiting room to see the doctor, or to have a procedure or for, um, for counselling. We bring all the artworks out with, with our art director and our facilitators. Paint some brushes, pencils, name it, colours. And their faces just light up. And, they, and once, once they start, they don't even want to go in and see the doctor in the end. But more importantly, they now find that they have art in them. It's a very relevant, but eating, aspect of therapeutic health intervention aspects. Heart medicine has brought in a lot of relationship and has brought in a lot of transformation for the health centers. That is, we have a relationship between the body, the mind and the spirit in terms of what does heart medicine has to offer. And in addition to that, we are seeing that every individual needs art and medicine, especially with emphasis to those in healthcare settings. That is, patients, clients in need of one medical need or the other. In that sense, it will bring out a lot of therapeutic 
educative and expressive form of feelings that will help to ensure that there is healing. The works of art are created to chase the blues away, from the beauty of nature, to famous comic heroes, to everyday activities that are bright and beautiful. During the Art Medicine Fellowship 2019, we created an installation, a flower installation, and we painted a superhero to show that the children, they can overcome the present situation and can strive and survive. So that was the theme of the painting and the flower installation, to surround them with positivity and energy and life. So that was what we what we experienced and I saw that the children they did well while painting on the bedside. It was a very beautiful situation. Students that were that were going through cancer, the people that were going through cancer, they had to to engage in art, the wall painting and even I, I recall one patient, it's a very significant patient, her name was Mary. She she actually came to life when we were in the hospital. Anytime Mr. Kunle was around, she came to life. You could see her drawing near, you know, she wants to talk. She, don't, she doesn't say much, but when Mr. Kunle comes around and will start painting, she's always excited and she, she, she ends up being different and lively at the end of the day. Usually these children are in an environment that is bland, an environment where they don't get to express themselves much. But we came with the color, we came with the vigor of art, and you could see it lighting up that atmosphere, and lighting up the patients themselves. You could see them journey and being transported from where they were in that hospital environment that was gloomy to an environment of hope, an environment of laughter, an environment of joy, and that's what art can do to anybody. It's a very important uh, uh, program, very important movement, because it, um, it uh, shows the relevance of the creative arts you know, to society, how the creative arts has been used to shape society, to benefit and impact society. So I think it's very important. I commend the organizers, Tender Arts, uh, Mr. Kunle Odebowale for what he's doing, people like Oinda Afakeye and all those medical students who have done so well to contribute their, their time. It goes beyond learning how to draw and paint. Design thinking, creative writing, dance and music in health, are also part of the lineup of the Arts in Medicine Fellowship. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show's not on television. Interact with us on any of our social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on Channels TV's YouTube page. Send your works of art to Art House on Channels Television by joining the group on Facebook. We are everywhere. Touching lives with the arts and we'll be seeing just that on the next episode. A veteran, man of many parts, is being honored for the role he has played in the Nigerian art space. Coming up on Art House. The National Gallery of Art salutes prominent artist and architect Dema Sunwoko with this exhibition and book presentation in Abuja. I am the last of our generation artists that they are presenting. Um, uh, and uh, 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 again, I'm a type of a person who doesn't uh, mind. And also, in age, I, 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 almost, I am almost the youngest out of all our generation. Plus, contemporary artist and scholar Professor Kweju Laiwala presents her solo show at a gallery in Lagos. I'm very interested in the way and manner in which dye, indigo dye was extracted from green leaves. So blue dye was drawn out of green leaves. And so it shows that the people, the local artists and artisans, understood the complexity uh, of this extraction process. They, understand the, they understood the alchemy of materials and the chemistry of, of the dyes. See that and more on the next episode. I'm sure you're looking forward to the next episode already, but you can play catch up online on any of our platforms.
I'm Melinda Akinlami. Thank you for taking this ride with me, and I'll see you next time.